Hello there. Um, I'm going to be going over a few videos, well not a few videos, sorry about that. I'm going to be going over a screenshots, well not some screenshots, but some emails. Oh, okay, look. Going into the... There we go. Okay, so you can see the dates and everything here. But this is from Mesa Boogie. Okay. This was, this here was in response to, um, Now my big question is, Brad, why didn't you comment in this video? And I've put adverts on that. Hey, brethren. Oops. Well, this video here, for what did you come to see? Brad, why didn't you comment on that video and say, brother, you are wrong. That video wasn't about you. Why didn't you do it? You did say it privately to me. Okay. We've never forgotten about you. We still pray for you every day. They're afraid of you, Aaron. I still believe if we have the time, you'll be a wonderful preacher. I do so hope all is well. I do so hope that all has come together for you. You do know them lost. But I hope we pray. Our Lord God and merciful Father Jesus Christ bless you and keep you. Okay. Second email I got from Brad was Aaron, I hope you don't think any videos I've done of late was about you question mark question mark question mark or I promise you before our Lord Jesus Christ I have not done one video against you. Right Brad, if that's the case then why did Piper LT spam my YouTube channel with nothing but the, the same Manasseh quotes that you and your videos which were not about me. I'm waiting for an answer, Brad. An honest answer. Same with you too, Justin. And you too, Piper. Okay? And all the other brethren who are talking about behind my back and twisting things, lying. You've been in our prayers, but I don't know what to say to you if you think I have made a video about you. Wow, I hope this is not the case. Okay, and check the dates here. Okay, 20th September 2021. Today's date is the 28th. Okay. And this was my message back. I said, sir, this is the very reason we are not to be vague. When you're vague, people can easily get the wrong idea. There was a few things in that video that made me think you were talking about me. The woman comment, first of all, and the reference onto the two argument thought was regarding myself and Matthew Landau. And before anyone else says anything, um, Piper LT, the Lord is my witness here. I was ashamed when I committed the abomination. That's why I was in tears. It's why for the past can't say seven months anymore, but the past nine months, I was, of the past seven months here roughly, I was sitting here. And I was getting right with the Lord. The Lord pulled me aside. I didn't separate myself. You brethren treated me deceitfully to make it appear that way. That's not good behaviour. That's not behaviour of the Church of the Living God. And stop giving yourselves that title because you're not. Okay. Then, of course, the phrase of being away for six months. Sorry that I'm a mistake, but Brad, this is the danger of being vague. We must not beat around the bush with these things. That's how we know the name of Simon the Sorcerer and Alexander the Coppersmith, etc. from the scriptures. Because Paul and Peter named them. Someone else told me about what's went on and who your video was about regarding Ryan and Melissa. But those two heir parents are correct in what they say about the man with the love of money and the other who wants to make an idol of himself. Also in your comment section, another individual referred to me as a Jezebel judge, followed by a quote which I once said to him. So although your video was not about me, it seems that certain people think it is. 
and that's the danger of being vague I'm trying to stress here. Okay? It applied, going, Beloved, the enemies want the notoriety, then he gave me Acts chapter 20, verse 28 through 30. And beloved, no one is attacking you or causing, calling you a Jezebel judge. I haven't seen any comments as such. If there is, I'm unaware of it. And you are right about being vague, but it doth seem that the enemies at least know that they're being addressed. You are right, though, however, about vagueness. Thank you. Aaron, understand I have nothing against you, and I would not, and have not, and I'm not attacking you or going after you. Time is too short. Do you not see these are mere distractions? Our Lord God, our merciful Father, Jesus Christ, be with you. Okay? Now, here's the thing. Come with me to Second John. Thank you, Lord. Um, where are we here? Okay. Second John, verse 10 and 11. If there come in unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's speed. For he that biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Well, Brad, if I'm not saved, okay, but the Lord did save me, okay, but according to you, I'm not a saved man. According to Piper, I'm not a saved man and everything. Then why are you wishing me, our Lord God and merciful Father, be with you? Wouldn't that be being a partaker of my evil deeds then? Brad, you're playing both sides of the fence. That's dishonest, sir. Neither me nor my Heavenly Father respect that. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to reward you all for this badness, you know. There is a day of judgment, brethren. You have all read it out yourselves often enough. You have threatened me with it enough. Okay? I replied to Brad saying, I've taken a small screenshot. I'll, I'll wait there. Did I read that one? Oh, yeah, I did. Apologies. I've taken a small screenshot. I'll delete it once I've sent to you. It's a comment from your comment section of the on the video, Beware of Infiltration. Thanks for the reassurance. Understand, given all the circumstances, it really made it look like the video was about me. I was unaware of the stuff of Ryan and Melissa. Like I said, I only agree with them on the JT and Brian defending JT thing, as I barely knew them. I agree time is far too short for this stuff to be happening. I need to keep my video up in case anyone else mistakes the video to be about me, as Brother Hartley did. But regardless of all this, the Lord taught me in these past few months not to think of man above that which is written and not to have men's persons in admiration. So for all this, I give the Lord thanks because he's teaching me how to handle things with a bit more care. And this is another working example of such. Okay, and that was a screenshot of the, the comment I was talking about. Okay, um, next thing, Brad, get back to me. Aaron, beloved. Alexander Hartley was not talking about you, he was actually talking about a woman. Come on, please, dear young man, myself, Alexander, we are not your enemies, beloved. Please pray and our Lord give you peace of mind. We still pray for you, daily for you. Brad, you might want to know this, but the Lord Jesus Christ has given me peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Sealed into the day of redemption, Brad. We still pray daily for you, and what have you done unto us? Nothing. Then why you treat me this way? Okay. If I've done nothing to you, why are you treating me this way? Why are you getting people to come onto my channel like Paper LT? Because it is from your camp, Brad, that she's coming from. I've got the screenshots on the YouTube, which will be shown in a while. Please be at peace with this. And then look at this again. Okay. But this is an example of what I'm talking about, all of you here on YouTube. About how certain individuals, certain elders were always twisting people against me. 
No one but Bob, John and Frank are attacking you. Okay. The thing is, John Cragen hasn't made a video with me in over a year. Okay. Um, Bob's latest videos about me were about two months ago. Okay. And Frank from King's Table's last video about me was, again, over a year ago. So, um, why are you saying this, Brad? Why are you saying this? When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with them. Because, as I've said, they're afraid of you. Beloved, I leave you this. Beware of those whose past you know not, whose testimony is unknown and seeks only to divide and turn brethren and even everyday people against one another. Beloved, again, do you not see? Do not forget Susan and I have never ceased praying for you and we love you. Didn't you call that in your own video love bombing? Truly, not in mere words. Bless your heart and soul. By the way, I forgot to mention Alexander Hartley knew whom that video was about. He know, knew slash knows that you were the farthest one ever to be thought upon as such, and he knew it were about them, beloved, not you. Be at peace with this. Okay, I let this go. I'm at peace with this, brother. It was just a coincidence. I repent of this. I pray you and Sister Susan all the best from my Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. And still to this day, I do. Okay? Even after the way that one of your minions, Piper LT, even after the way that it was spoke about, had my words twisted, she even quoted the Jesuit handbook against me. Really? I mean, like, that's not something that a Christian should do. Our authority is from the King James Scriptures. But this Piper LT is out there quoting Jesuit doctrine to find meanings of words. Specifically, the meaning of the word soothsayer. Okay. Brad's next comment was, I do not believe in coincidences. Nothing ever just happens. The devil and his angels are, set, are desperate to tear in pieces the body of Christ, to pit brother against brother in these days before the catching away. And there are many infiltrators and coadjutors working for the devil, i.e. Rome. We need to be on guard, beloved. I truly believe that the devil wants nothing more than to keep you from ministry of any sorts. Okay? So you truly believe the devil wants to keep me from ministry? Is that why you're sending people to me, Brad? Like Piper LT? I'll be going over the comments, brethren, okay? Please be patient. Please wait, okay? Of any sorts, uh... And looking at how you are still to this day relentlessly attacked, sad face, Bob only wanted to talk to you to fish information, beloved. I don't know whether that's true or not. Okay? And Bob, if you see this, this is why I'm holding yourself at a kind of arm's length. Okay? I literally don't know whether I... Do you know what I mean? I can't trust anyone apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? But this is another reason, Bob, why I'm holding you yourself at arm's length, okay? I literally don't know who to believe here. You understand? I do pray that you never give that devil the time of day. Again, know this. I will not make a video against you, nor do I slander you unto others. Aaron Murray, dear and judge, you have my word before Christ Jesus. Hold it to me, young man. Hold me to it, young man, for I never was, never will be your enemy. Okay, Rook. And this was a, a big, long personal account that I'm not going to get into. Okay? But I'd let Brad know a few of the things that was happening in my life without the, within these past seven months. Okay? Comments? Okay.
a crook. So Piper had deliberately went out her way to try and trip me up over words. And, Brad, are you going to be honest with people here that you and Matt Melanson had recommended that I use cannabis medicinally for my stomach's sake because I couldn't eat? Are you going to be honest with that, Brad? You and I had a Skype call and you're sitting like this and you said, brother, I know you may be against this, but I've seen it with my own eyes. So you, you told me in a personal account with someone with leukemia who had used medical cannabis to improve their condition. I was in a Skype call with yourself, with, with brother Jeff Allen, okay, who is my brother in Christ, with Matt Melanson, Okay, and yeah, he had said to me that here, yeah, like Jeff didn't say this, but yourself and Matt Melanson had said, like, I was in tears with you and I was like, I'm no different than a drug addict kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I told you that I'd put the cannabis that I had down the toilet, which I did. And what was your next words? You and Matt Melanson's words? Oh, you shouldn't have done that, brother. Hmm. That is what the scriptures would call casting a stumbling block. Setting snails. Okay. But anyway, this is the big long thing here that Piper had commented. Okay. Twisting my words as usual. I have other videos in these because Piper has, hasn't edited this comment, but... She did edit one of our other comments where she'd quoted the Jesuit handbook. Praise the Lord, I've got it on video. Piper, your dishonesty has been caught. Brad, so is yours. Okay. And here was Piper intentionally sowing discord. The brethren keep it like to the real brethren here. This is everything they've accused me of. Okay, sowing discord, telling lies, digging up dirt. This is everything they keep accusing me of when it's them who's doing it to me, brethren. I'm just making these videos here, a, a kind of response that says, look, they're telling lies. Okay, even the Apostle Paul, he was allowed to speak for himself, correct? Okay. Next thing I know I'm being told, however, do check yourself if you're a brother of mine. Do you still smoke the devil's lettuce? If so, please stop for your own good. I'm actually wondering, do you? Now, Piper, who told you that? Hmm? Because there was only Alexander Hartley, Matthew Landau, Brad Ovenshain, Matt Melanson, and Brother Jeff Allen who knew about it. You understand? It was only those five individuals. That was it. Yet do not assume what people mean by words and those sorts. Ask if you do not have much clarity for, unless one specifically speaks of evil doings, is it then such? Like, why are you typing like that? Why are you writing this in such a convoluted language? As in, without true clarity of an all's meaning behind something you do not know that may ju and may just cause strife, division and many other things, that may not be your intention, but due to misunderstanding, such is then caused. What? Could you literally speak in regular English, please, without the big word games? Okay. And I just turned around and replied, I was like, did Brad tell you? It was him who recommended that I smoke the devil's lettuce. If anyone is setting snails, it's you lot. I called you brethren. I pray the Lord forgives you for this. Also, answer your question. No, I do not smoke the devil's lettuce. Okay. That's something that Lord cleaned up in my life, brethren. Okie doke. Now, um, where is it here? Where is it? 
It's not there. Okay. There's like, if anyone stands stairs, it's your lot. I called you, brethren. I pray the Lord forgives you for all this. Also, to answer your question, no, I do not smoke the level the devil's lettuce. Then she replied, to answer your question, no, not Brad. However, I do want to point out that you did at one point mention in your videos that you did used to smoke weed. So I want to know if you were currently smoking or did smoke this year the devil's lettuce. Setting snares? What does that mean? And you call yourself a Bible believer, Piper. And if my question upon such hurt your pride, no, your question didn't hurt me. Okay? What hurt me was the way you brethren have treated me. You understand that? You set snails for me. You hacked my computer. You've been following, trying to track my physical location. And you've been sowing discord amongst all my brethren. That's what hurt me. Interesting. I didn't know a question that is a direct statement of currently asked sorts. Hmm. Why do you keep talking like that, Piper? It seems like someone's a bit of a know-it-all, to be honest. A bit lifted up with pride. You speak exactly like a few books that I've got in my bookshelf over there. And it's not the scriptures that I'm talking about, okay? You don't speak like the scriptures so you don't paper, okay? You speak, to be honest, like a copy of Brad. I almost thought this was Brad in a secondary channel, to be honest. Didn't know English could work like that. The Lord shall forgive if he sees and knows such wasn't my intention to cause whatever feelings you felt for it was a question. And since I don't have an email, I had to ask openly, of course. Lies, Piper. Piper, you've mailed me before. Don't tell lies. I'm not telling lies. If I don't have your email, even if one emailed one in the past, which doesn't mean one always has person's email, and if I did email you, I don't remember. So in which my state still stands... Since I don't have an email, I had to ask you openly, of course. Right. No, Piper, you are sowing Discord. Okay, and you do have an email address. You know why? You have a YouTube account, which means you have a Google account, which is what? An email. Lies again. Okay. And look, a brother actually got a blessing from one of my videos and just like the devil does hooks on there check out brother brad accountable kjv and i was like really jesuit tactics now i mean you quote the handbook like it's scripture no surprise there okay and piper you've edited that part out of your comment but luckily the lord had me to record your comment not screenshot it Record that. And those videos will be getting uploaded first. Okay. Was it this one? Yeah, this was the edited one, I think. Okay. But you left away the full Manasse thing, didn't you? I always pray for the Lord's holy righteous judgment upon the wicked and those who do wickedly as I pray for judgment upon the saved. For it does rain on the just and on the unjust, and as I do pray for judgment upon countries. Now this was the this was the, the comment I was I actually made the video about raining on the just and unjust for. Okay? Because Piper had twisted the meaning of scripture. Okay? And I accidentally said Amen. But I said in the video, at the start of the video, I shouldn't have said Amen to it. And what happened when I made that video? <laughs> you turned on me like a wild dog. I, like, I was really shocked at that. Okay. Look, and here you are again. So in Discord. Piper, I'm not going along with the world. And I don't think my brother Jeff Allen is either. Okay. 
Shall it be through actions, words, or being a part of the world, through mask wearing and so forth? Do keep that in mind too. I'm sorry, miss, but you are so filled with pride that, wow, wow. No crook. But, um, what I said yesterday, it still stands. I forgive you. I forgive you. I do not want to see a single one of you burn in hell. I don't. I pray that my Heavenly Father guides you into all truth. Okay? My Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ will save you if you repent. Okay? Repent. Have faith in him. Trust in him. Ask him for forgiveness. Okay? So... As simple as that. Are you all going to stop with the lies? Are you all going to stop hacking my computer? Because I've noticed that's been happening an awful lot. Every time Brian or Brad has said something about spiritual snipers, I check my email and what was that? Maybe about five months ago, I was getting spam emails of up to 100 spam emails a day. And it was all filthy content. Do you know what I mean? Like, literally, it just deleted it. Do you know what I mean? You people are wicked. Okay? Not those who are saved and sealed in the Lord Jesus Christ. But you people, like Brad, Piper, you guys are bad news. Okay? And Justin... I'm aware that you did lie to my face in the video call that we had. Okay? It's as simple as that. Have a nice day, brethren. Well, you are not my brethren. Sorry, I called them brethren again, Lord. This is my problem. I called you brethren for that long. I really did trust you. I mean, even last night I was in prayer to, prayer to the Lord for you. Do you know what I mean? And I was still calling you brethren. Like, even a few times here, I've started calling you brethren a couple of times. You people are really, really nasty. Okay? And here's something else that I want this light. Okay? I wait all the time. I do hope everything's okay with you. But I do see in another video in the future that you'll make another video on apology and then delete your videos because James one says you waver and unstable. Okay, sir, um I don't know who you are, thy word is like, but um the reason I was unstable before was because the Lord was trying to pull me out of something bad. Like, I'm gonna make a second testimony video. Because brethren, like, I really would like to tell you what's happened over this over these past few months. Okay? I actually need to tell you this. Okay? Not out of my own will, but out of the will of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? All I'm gonna say, brethren, right now for the time being until the Lord says otherwise, be very careful. This is why I'm an advocate for studying the Word of God with you and the Lord alone in prayer. Okay? I've got scripture to back it up too. Okay? Okay. First John chapter 2, verse... ...24 through... 27. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. 
These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. You know John 16, 13, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Okay? First John chapter 2, verse 27. But the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you, that you needeth not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, even as it had taught you, ye shall abide in him. Okay? So, um, thy word is light. I'm not a teacher. Okay? I'm a sinner, saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. You understand that? The reason I make videos here, sir, is to preach the gospel. To preach the word. Okay? I temporarily have to keep making these small little videos right now because people right now are, they're jumping on me like a pack of wolves. Okay? They really didn't like something. They didn't like the fact that I wanted to double check everything with the scriptures. Because that's when everything in fellowship with us all started going downhill, wasn't it, brethren? When I started saying, but here, there's a lot of things that this man's teaching that's actually not true. And you'd open up the word and you can do a diligent study for yourself. And then... That's when your brethren started to dislike me. Okay? You manipulated me as well into revealing my sin. Because you, Brad Ovenshine, had recommended that I take this to the brethren. This is something the church needs to know about, you said. And yes, I was ashamed when I came out of abomination. That's where I went away for a while. You've got no idea what those months were like for me. Every single day, praying to the Lord, calling myself all the disgraces under the sun. Terrified. I don't know what happened, but out of the blue, the Lord just... I don't know how it happened, but all of a sudden the fleshly problems started going away. Pains started going away. Life started cleaning up. I don't know how to explain it other than the Lord and his mercies and his grace. That's it. And now that I'm coming back preaching that, it seems that people out there are trying to stop whatever they can. It's like they're trying to stop me. I'm sorry, but I'm not going away. Okay? Sorry. But it's not you that I serve. It's not Brian Denlinger that I serve. It's not Brad Ovenshine that I serve. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. And none of you out there are going to get me to shut up about it. Okay? None of you. I'm sorry to say that, but It's the Lord's will be done, not my own will. If I had my own will, I would just be sitting behind my computer and trying to get my life sorted out. Okay? But I'm not here to do my own will. Okay? Because when you get saved and sealed into the day of redemption, your life's no longer about you and you alone. I lived that way for the better part of six months and the Lord was near chasing me unto death. Understand? What the Lord says, I've got to do. 
Okay. Whether any of you agree with it or not, do you understand? But as of yourself, Brad, Piper, don't come near my channel again. In fact, I don't even want to, you don't even talk about me again. Okay? To anyone. Whether a present or absent or whatever. If you're not the snakes that you say that he's um, pretending that he's aren't, then you'll have, a, you'll find it really easy to just zip it, lip it, put it in the pocket about me. I mean, what do I matter that much anyway? Hmm? Come on. Anyways. Hyper, I'm going to be getting to uploading those other videos, showing your comments, okay? So, and a little bit of a warning. I was a little bit annoyed last night when I took the when I took the, the videos of these comments. So, I can't really take a second video of them because you deleted them. Okay, you changed the comment. So, I've got to upload the ones that I made last night. Okay. But just a little bit of a warning, okay? I'm a little bit nippy, okay? But like I say, I still do forgive you. I really do. Is there a point in me asking you to repent? Is there a point in me saying here, get right with the Lord before it's too late? Will you? Or will you just continue to attack me? I mean, you've already turned... When was it? Where are we here? Yeah, you've already turned three brethren against me. In the short space of a day. That's what the devil does. Okay? There's a big difference, brethren, between someone out there causing division, as they're accusing me of doing, when all I'm wanting to do is preach scriptural truth. That's it. That's all I want to do. Okay? I've never asked anyone for it. All I've ever asked is brethren's fellowship. That's the only thing I've ever asked for anyone. Was a fellowship. Not money. Not, oh, buy my new property. Or not pay my rent for me. Should be working for that, Brad. But, um, yeah. I've never asked anything from any of you. Other than prayers and fellowship. The Lord will reward you according to his works. He's doing all that. My Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, he's going to defend me in this one, you know. Okay? I'm weak. You know what I mean? If it was up to the flesh, I'd be gone in seconds. You know what I mean? I'd like to get my health sorted out. I don't want to be spending time backwards and forwards in YouTube. Okay? I'd like to preach a few videos for people on YouTube, yeah. But as of all this contention strife, I don't want anything to do with it. But since you keep bringing up and bringing up and bringing up old duck, I've got to... I've got to speak. I've got to defend. Okay? I just really don't believe this, Brethren, what you are doing. Oh, not Brethren. Again. <laughs> I 
I'm not being funny, but I looked at my beard last night in the mirror before I went to my bed. I've got grey hairs growing. At 24 years old. And they've put me under a lot of stress. But my Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's Him that gives me comfort. I mean, even last night in prayer, I was... I'm not going to say this day I was in prayer last night about, about it, okay? But I was in prayer about it last night. And it took about an hour or two. But after that, the Lord had given me some joy. And the Lord this morning had me open up my hymn book. And I was sitting some singing some brand new hymns. But, to be honest... What I've learned from all this, what the Lord has shown me through all of this, is that my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ has really helped me to dodge a bullet with you. Brad. Piper. Okay? And Brad, um, if you are innocent in all this, okay, which by now I really doubt Okay, the way that you've been doing everything behind closed doors, I mean, this video here, the For What Did You Come To See video, you could have commented on that yourself and went, beloved, that video wasn't about you, like you said in your emails, and you could have ended this all, you could have avoided all this happening, but you didn't, Brad. You didn't. That's not right. That is not right, sir. Like I said in this video, you don't work for my Heavenly Father. You both serve your own bellies. That's what you do. Okay? And if the Lord would... Permit me to be a little bit of a fool and glory in here when I say I've risked my own health for you. There was times I wasn't doing insulin correctly. Also, I could get studying done and videos done. Even last night, again, do you know what I mean? I had my 11 minute insulin done before, before I was about to get my dinner and I was like, no, you know what? No, this is more important. Okay. This, this needs to end. It needs to stop. This, what you are doing is literal evil. It's not sin. It's evil. Utter evil. You are using the devil's tactics. That's not right. Okay. I really pray that, at this stage, I pray that if you're hungry, the Lord gives you drink. If you're hungry, the Lord gives you food. And if you're thirsty, the Lord gives you drink. That's what I really pray for you at this point. Okay? I really do want you to repent and truly get saved. But wow. Okay? Have a nice day.